Guys, what if I say that you can actually try to use the LLM APIs in your projects for free without actually paying the API credits. With the tool that I'm going to show you in this video, you can actually try to use the recent uh, popular models like the DeepSeek and Quen in your projects without you actually paying the API costs. And yes, you don't even have to write the code in order to use this particular process. So if that sounds interesting, let's get started with the video. I'll actually try to show you two ways in order to use this particular process. So the first thing is going to be without you actually writing the code like we will be using the no code platforms in order to access the API. With the second process I'll just show you an example of how to actually get this snippet of the API that you are going to call in your project. So let's get started with it. So the platform that we are going to use today is going to be open router. I'll just leave a link in the description. So once you just click on the link you will be taken to this page. So once you are in this page, you can like create a free account with the Google account or if you have the MetaMask wallet, you can just sign up with that as well. Just go ahead with Google account. That would be fine. So once you are uh, signed up, you will be landing on this particular page. So what you have to understand is just click on models. So here you will be seeing all the models that the open router actually provides you to actually use them. So all these models are not actually free, but some of the models are completely free to use. And for some of the models in order to use them, you have to top up the open router uh, API credits. So in order to get the models which are completely free, you can just sort a filter here. Just click on newest and then uh, choose the pricing from low to high. So if you just apply this particular filter, you'll come up with all the models that are completely free to use in your project. So as you can see, we have the uh, models from Mistral and also we have the models from uh, Google Gemini. And as you can see, we have the recent model, which is a uh, Quen 2.5 as well. And also you can actually find the DeepSeek R1 as well. So you can like completely use these models in your projects completely for free. Like you just have this uh, thing I mentioned just right side of this, right? Like which is free. So if you have this uh, particular option in the model, then you can like completely use this particular model for free. And let's say if you want to use a model which is paid, so like you have to top up to the uh, open router, right? In that case, like you will be actually showing the like uh, the open router is going to show you the cost. Uh, based on that, you can decide like what model to actually go with. I'm just uh, going to go with the free models that we have. So yeah, in order to use this particular model, we need to get the API key, right? So in order to create the API key, just go ahead to the profile. And once you click on the profile, you'll have a uh, keys as the option here. Just click on it. So once you are here, you can directly create a key by just clicking on create key and just uh, give it the name. I just gave it the name tutorial. So I'll just click on create key. So once you click on create key, you will have the key here. Just uh, copy the uh, key to the clipboard. So once you see the key, like if you want to see the key again, you can't actually see it. This is only visible once. If you just close this window, you can't actually see the key again. So if you uh, want to store this somewhere, just store it or else you can like create a new key if you just lost the key. Uh, that is not actually a problem. So yeah, once you are, uh, once you created the key, just uh, click on copy. So now let's go with the first method of uh, getting the or calling the API with using a no code platform. So the no code platform that we are going to use is going to be make.com. I will leave a link in the description. If you just click on the link, uh, you can like uh, sign up for free. So just uh, click on the link and sign up for free. Once you are, I'll just log into my account. So once you are logged in, just go ahead to scenarios and click on create a new scenario. So once you are here, uh, you just have to add a module. Like if you are not aware of make.com, I will leave a tutorial in the description and on and also on the i -cards. So I have created a detailed tutorial on, uh, I think I have created two videos on make.com. So make sure to check them out. And if you are not sure, like if you are uh, coming to the make.com for the first time, just go with the process. If you find any confusion or if you don't find the right way, just go ahead and check the tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description. So now the modules that we are going to add is going to be open router. Like we are going to get the keys from the open, open router, right? So just select the create a chart completion. So here you have to add the connection to open router. I already have a connection. Like if you don't have a connection, just click on add. You just have to paste in your API key here and then click on save. So this is going to uh, connect to the open router. Now, once this is connected, you can actually uh, choose the model, the model that you want to use. So in this case, we have some free models that I have shown you, right? So let's just uh, sort it again. And yeah, we have the uh, models. Let's just go with the deep sea carbon, which is the recent one. Okay. I'll just use this particular model for this tutorial purpose. I'll just go ahead to models and let me search for deep sea. 
Okay, so we have this model here which says free. Just click on it. Uh, this model is going to be loaded into your automation or the scenario. So here uh, is going to be the prompt. Let's say, okay, I just asked it to tell me a joke. So let's see what it does. Okay, uh, here uh, you have to select the uh, role of the model. I'm just going to select system. And this is something that you have to consider. Let's say if the deep seek mode, if you try to enable this option, like if you choose as here, so let's say if the deep seek is not actually available, open router is actually going to search for the most appropriate model, which is available. And then it is actually going to get the response from that particular model. If you don't want to actually uh, go with that particular approach, just uh, select no, that would be completely okay. So once you are done, just click on save. So we have actually given the prompt, right? Let's just try to run this module and see. Okay, so we just got the response. Let's just uh, check with the response. So in order to check the responses, uh, just click on the uh, results that you have got here. And then in the output section, just uh, click on choices and you'll have the array and just click on the array and here you'll have the message. So this is the joke that it has created. So this is how you can actually try to implement the API in the no code platform. Now, if you have something that you are building or writing code, let's see how you can actually implement that. Here you just have to go on to documentation in the open router section. So once you have here, uh, like you are going to have the, or you are going to be provided with the SDK. Let's say if you are building something in Python or TypeScript, you can directly choose the language here. And I'm actually going to show you an example in Python. So I'll just try to copy the uh, code snippet that is actually there here. Now I'll just paste in the snippet that I have copied. So the only thing that you have to change here is, uh, one, one thing is going to be obviously the API key. I'll just paste in the API key here. So I have just pasted the API key and the next thing is going to be the model that you want to use. Uh, let's say now if you want to use a model from maybe Mr. Just go ahead into that particular model and copy this particular ID which you uh, which you'll find here. Just copy this ID and get back to the code and you just have to uh, paste the ID here. So once you are done, you can directly go ahead and uh, run this particular code. So as you can see, we just got the response from the uh, Mistral model that we have used. So this is how you can actually try to uh, get the API from your particular code or uh, call the API from your particular code. So if you find this video helpful, just give it a like. And if you have any questions in actually accessing the API or if you have any errors in this particular process, I'll be happy to help you out. Just come up in our forum or text me in any of the social medias that you find in the description. I'll be happy to help you out and I'll see you in the next one.